Science is Justice with Tablet Pro, and we're going to go hands-on with the Surface Book from Microsoft. All right, so here's the Surface Pro 3, the Surface 2, this is the Surface Book right here. You can see the thinness compared to the Surface Pro 4. It's almost indistinguishable. You can see a slight little How's it going, jump. sir? Do you have an appointment today? Here you can see the difference between the Surface Book and the Surface Pro 2, and there's the Surface Pro 3. The screen sizes you can see Surface 2, Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 2, Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, and the Surface Book. Now, using the pen and the tracking is really nice, it's very responsive. The eraser, which I, I don't use an eraser on the back of the pen for anything because it takes too long to switch the, the pen around, but it feels exactly like an eraser, like I'm looking for little shavings on the side of the, the markings. It feels really, really natural. They, they did an excellent job with it. So we're going to do a drawing test. This is the Surface Pro 2. You can see uh, pretty smooth. Alright, now we're going to move over to the Surface Pro 4. Does the 4's new keyboard work on a 3? Yes. It does. It's really it's smooth. It's we, we spaced out the keys. We made this 40% uh, larger. This is an optional one, by the way. I'm going the pressure sensitivity. This is Photoshop. I'm drawing very lightly on a Surface Pro 2. This is Wacom technology and I'm going from light strokes, consistently medium strokes, consistently darker, and then consistently full pressure. And you can see obviously a very clear difference, but again, that's Photoshop. Now we're on the Surface Pro 4, and I'm trying my best to do very light lines, a little bit harder lines, harder still, um, but again, right here, we're not seeing a difference in the, in the line weight, but I think that has to do more with the program that we're, or that I'm using, which is I, it's Coral Painter. So I was uh, fortunate enough to have some great guys here at the Microsoft Store let me try out the pen tips. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate those. Uh, we're using Coral Painter 16, and I don't seem, I'm not sure how that compares with the uh, sensitivity and settings and everything that I have set up in my default system in Photoshop on the Surface Pro 2. So uh, we're gonna test it out, see if we can see any difference. So this is what comes with the Surface Pro 4. So pen tips, and you just pinch it, pull it out, and you can swap. All right, so I'm trying the different pen tips. I just tried the HB, and the HB's kind of glassy. The B felt like the standard tip that came in the pen as it started. And I'm gonna try the H and the switch and see what the differences are. I tried the H and the H is even glassier than the B. So it feels kinda of like the Surface Pro 2 pen and the Surface Pro 3 pen feel on the screen. They just kinda of glide around. It's a little bit more friction, a little less friction. Obviously it's a little bit bigger nub and more side surface there, so if you wanted to do some shading with the side of the pen, you can do that. Okay, so this is Surface Pro 4, and this is an Art Rage Touch. This is a better, better, oh, that's interesting. All right, so we're gonna do, Not a great sign. Yeah, see, 
the, the levels of pressure sensitivity are, are pretty varied. But there's some weird stuff going on here. Uh, Alright, this is a sketchbook for a tablet. And testing pressure sensitivity. So what it looks like is happening is that the pen tip is not being released from the screen. So it's so keeping it down state be, uh, while it's not actually on the screen, so it's, it's causing some problems. I'm sure that's something that they'll get fixed. They have this same NTRIG technology in the Surface Pro 3, and they've got that to work very nicely. So I I'm, I'm, have very high hopes and expectations for, for them to be able to get this to work right. So it all depends. You could do this if you wanted to. Let's switch the pens. Yeah, it might be this machine. We're going to try a different machine. So you never had a surface before? Because that's all from person to person. Because I've had people that take it uh, and they're perfectly fine with it. They'll put it on the left and they say it's fine. This is the specs for the Surface Pro 4. Uh, obviously, these are not final specs. Here is the Surface Book specs. Uh, you notice the same CPU. And this is the storage size on the Surface Book, which is not standard. So my thoughts so far is that I need more research. Uh, we did find out a couple interesting things. The Surface Pro 4 that they have in the store has a different gigabyte setting or um, has four gigabytes instead of eight which is the minimum on the site so we know that these machines are not uh, fully up to spec yet I was glad I had a chance to check it out also same thing for the surface book it was with eight gigabytes and what I assume is in a 512 gigabyte hard drive and that one had eight gigabytes instead of 16 which is what they have in the store so kind of strange that they have less RAM than the ones we're going to see in a couple weeks. But uh, that's what I got for you so far. If you want to find out more, I'll be going back to the store and checking them out and getting uh, some more information and doing some more tests. So subscribe, and you guys will be notified when I find out more.